watching the Love and Hip Hop Miami, check yourself. Season two. You'll be watching us watch the show. For the very first time. You'll be getting our natural and honest reactions. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see is another conversation about trying to get Pretty Ricky's group together. You say you got the tiger, right? You can put the tiger yes, in there. you already know. They're going to flip that. out when they see him riding on this tiger. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? <laughs> this is my brother, man. Let's, Let's go. go. What y'all got going on? Oh, we working on some magic right now, some magic. Know. The record label, Clear Vision, hired me to do the A&R, the production, some writing. So right now we're doing a video. I did not know Baby Blue was doing production and um, A&R for other labels. I'm still trying to find out who's Ricky and who's pretty in the group. Hello. It's Bob. Bobby. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro? Old backing. <laughs> Davon. That is dope right there. No, it's actually just Whoa, a surprise. You're going to kill somebody with that, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. So what the f you think, Blue? You look like a superstar, bro. Okay, okay I'll be right back. I will never take away the fact that Bobby is very talented, and he's a very good artist. Like, that's just what it is at the end of the day. That his personality away from his music can be a hot mess, that's separate. But he's good at what he does. I must admit. You got the bachelor party. We're going to have a good time. I'm ready, bro. I'm inviting everybody. Who's everybody? Everybody. So everybody, everybody, or just everybody? Listen, I'm inviting Pleasure, too. So I don't know if he going to come. Pleasure trying to act like he was really here for the group, but him making the move that he made, going to the radio station and stuff like that, man, that's wrong, man. Like, you can't let a come and tell you he your brother and then turn around and do some snake starting to feel like he really, really went there to sabotage the group. I just wish everything is where it should be right now because it's not. I've been trying to put this thing back together and figuring that out is just like, I don't even know what to think no more. Pretty Ricky's a dope, dope, dope Miami home team group. I would love to see them get back together. You know, anybody that's here from the crib, I gotta rep them and I rep them hard because we all we got. I fought for the family, for brotherhood, bruh. But every single time, a always turn around and show me he not my mother brother. Working with family always ends up being a headache. If he in, then man, let's rock. Let's get these shows. If he out, then he out. It's either or, man. I'm just sick of this They've been trying to get this group back together forever. Hasta cuando? Either you're in or you're out. Either you do it or you don't. If it's not working, let it go. Like, that's it. The next thing you're about to see is a crazy fashion party. It was crazier outside than inside. Look at how he dressed right now with his hat on. He looked like one of them old school swindlers. Sharp, just not my kind of sharp, but sharp. <laughs> sharp. I don't know about sharp. My brother looking like a pimp from the 50s. <laughs> what you got on, man? You got on jeans. You're supposed to come suited up. Now, I don't know if Chaotic knew where he was going. Uh, I don't think he was dressed appropriately for that event. But at the end of the day, what matters is that he was there. He was there to support. So, oh well. Uh oh, look at these you. guys. <clears throat> oh, see, they got the memo. They got the memo. Yeah, everybody was tuxedoed out. It was a black tie affair type of thing. I'm going to make sure I have on a tuxedo at your wedding. Oh, you better. What about you, Prince? What yeah. about you and Liz? What's up? We still together, we've been, you know what I'm saying, fixing some things. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Kayla, let me holler at y'all side real quick, brother. That's something that I can truly appreciate about a man. If you feel uncomfortable about something, you don't do it in front of everybody. You pull people aside. So what's the play, my brother? They called me outside. <clears throat> so I was at this event the other day. Bobby said that you were saying, and I know you said this because this is the type of that you are. Bobby told Prince that he had heard that Chaotic has said something, something, something. You see what I'm saying? Why is Bobby always in the middle of some Is that you, you would my, my girl. Not, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm kind of stuck off for that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know how the guys are. The guys, they be talking amongst each other. Oh yeah, well, that bitch. <laughs> she got a fat ass. Da -da -da -da. I don't really think it came with bad intentions. However, I can understand how Prince felt a little bit disrespected by Chaotic's comment. I get it. You know how men are very territorial about their females and their girlfriends? I've been around your family, your sister, your mother, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine if I say some to a like Hollywood or one of these, someone that's not my close thing, I'm just like, damn, I would this like Chaotic's sister. How the would you feel? Whoa. <laughs> it's just a matter of respect. That's not something So you saying you're about my sister? 
Man, let me the go. Man, you with my seats. Okay, I'm gonna have to pay me back. Is this really your car? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Just in case Chaotic didn't understand where Prince is coming from, he just gave him an example. I don't think that there was a reason for Chaotic to jump over the car, take off his shirt, and do the most. You can't just stand there and talk and have a conversation. This is the problem that I'm having with the people these days. People don't know how to talk anymore. Everything they want to do is fight and throw that bro. Y'all don't know what it feels like to be tried, my it was both disrespectful. I don't think either or is out of, you know. I don't know. I'm more of a who does it first, and then whoever disrespects later, it doesn't count. Once you cross the line with me, then anything I say after that is. Yeah, but sometimes it goes with you, you don't even have to cross the line. That's not true. It takes a lot to make me upset. And if I'm upset, it's because I'm hurt. Oh. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Shay Johnson here. If you want to see more of Love and Hip Hop Miami, make sure you subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel. It's going down. Plus, I keep you entertained.